in my opinion, what a lot of people do wrong is they feel like the only thing they didn't have was money. But a lot of time, what you also didn't have, in my opinion, which is more important is time. Mm -hmm. You didn't have time with your parents because your parents were working three, four, five, seven jobs to mm -hmm. pay the bills. They weren't there to help you with your homework. They weren't there to, you know, c console you when you had a rough day in school. They weren't there to tuck you in at night and tell you I love you. You also lost time. Mm -hmm. And in today's society, I feel as though we're, we're so obsessed with money because, yes, not having money is terrible. But when you get to a point where you have money, I think there's other intangible values that people can provide outside of their pocketbooks. To that point, bro, like I know people whose focus was money, 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 right? They got the money and they splurging and it's like there was this is there's no end point. When when do you stop? When is it enough? When do you have enough? Are like you just chasing and chasing and chasing and chasing the money? And your kids is like, hello, what about us? Hello? What it do, man? It's your boy 100, and we back in this. Hey, we back in this, man. And right now we got the roommates. Uh, this video is the obsession with six-figure men debates. Let's tap in. Both of you guys are living out your purpose, living out your passion, loving it. God blesses you 50, 100, 200, 300,000. Enjoying life. Mm -hmm. All your bills are paid for by you. Mm -hmm. You meet a guy who's also doing his purpose, passion, like Chris described, maybe not making that much money. Let's say you're making 55. 300 plus 55 is 355. Mm -hmm. Still, you, you don't ever plan on stopping your work because this is your God-given purpose. And, you, and even if you have kids, you're still going to be hustling, grinding, doing what you're called to do. Your, your your family income before we even go any further but you know good and well a woman making 300 ain't finna pick on no man getting 55 they don't want that that ain't happening they don't want that they want a man that's making 400 <laughs> you feel me 355 what do i Why know I don't, I don't does know. his money matter if you already living your life can pay all the bills if you can pay for your kids pay for your well-being and and, and this is an amazing guy why does that guy's money matter? I think it's a society thing on mm -hmm. what we see on social media um, and what we put out there or what the society puts out there for the man to be the provider. Um, let's be realistic. It's 2022. 20, females are making just as much or even more money than than men. But um, and, it do, and it does go back on culture as well, um, because coming from a Spanish culture, you know, we are the mom, the, the the nurse, the I do everything at home. So for me, if I'm I, I get the scenario, if I'm doing something that I love and all the bills is paid and I'm living my happy little prairie life, that's great. But it makes me feel I wanna say lesser. Mm. Like I'm assuming the male role. So what do I need the male for? And I was going to say, <laughs> to piggyback off of that, I have like a friend. I don't, I don't, I don't even, I don't even, I don't even, I don't even, bro. She's saying if she doing that, then she don't need no man. Like, you do though. You do. You do. Who was in that situation. Like she was making more money than her man. And her man stated like, I feel like you don't need me. So I feel like a lot of the times it's not even the woman making a man feel less than. I feel like men feel that way. I don't and know any man who will want to make less than their woman. I know. Like, it's an ego thing. <laughs> but let, we'll get to that. I don't think I would care. Um, as long as I'm making substantial, as long as I'm making a living and I'm and I'm living good, I'm feeling good. Like I don't really care that she's making more than me. I just, I don't feel emasculated behind that. If I want to make more, I need to figure out a way to make more. But her making more is not going to make me feel less than. I'm not going to feel like, oh, no, I'm, I'm lame. I'm weak. I'm, I'm, I don't measure up. Like, nah, I don't feel that way. I'm saying if, like, if we vibing and, like, actually dating, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's not an intimidating factor. 
But if she don't like that I make less, then this is not the place I need to be at. But I'm not going to feel no way. At that point, let's say that guy doesn't mind making less than you. He, he has come to the God-given reality that his purpose is to be this amazing middle school teacher mm -hmm. in an inner city school. He could obviously go to a private school and make a little bit more, but he's like, I'm so passionate about this community. I believe in this community. I was raised in this community. One teacher changed my life. I want to be this one teacher to these kids. So he's content with that much money. He realizes that God has blessed you and he thinks it's a beautiful thing. And he doesn't feel like he doesn't feel intimidated. He doesn't feel the need to compete with you. He realized that God has blessed you with that financially and God has blessed him with other things in life. Could you be with that man happily? He would just have to step up in other areas. Okay. Before you, hmm? I'm, I'm going to get to you. Like what? I'm going to say no, because for me, like my life is bigger than just me. Like I want to be able to set up my kids, my kids, kids. And I want my man to have that same mindset. Like it's bigger than me. I want to retire my parents. Like I want you to retire your family. Like, it's bigger than me. So if you don't have that same mindset, that same drive, then we just wouldn't work for me. Okay. So to me, <laughs> this is all good stuff. So I, I, I was, I was hanging out on Sunday. Hopefully I won't get too long on the rabbit trail. Rabbit trail. I feel her. And that's where it goes to like, get with who you like, get with who you want to be with. You know what I'm saying? Like if you making 300 and you need somebody that's on the same grind, the same hustle, the same, we, we, we getting millions. We trying to retire people. We, we setting up legacy. We setting up trust. So our kids, kids, kids can eat. If you own that, then you need to go date that and find that and be with that. And then let that middle school teacher go find his queen. Maybe she an elementary school principal somewhere or something. You know what I'm saying? You got to be with who you, you got to be with who you like-minded with. You know what I'm saying? Equally yoked. But I'm going to try to get back to you what you guys are talking about. I was okay. hanging out with some people on Sunday. I went to an establishment in Dallas that I frequent occasionally. And I, and I, and I met this one guy and he was one of these money guys. And the money guys come in and they start, and all they do is talk about money. Oh, I make 35, I make 45, 50,000 a month. Mm -hmm. Always talking about money. Mm -hmm. And Something about him just rubbed me the wrong way. Mm -hmm. And something about him reminded me of, you probably could not get people to care about you unless you're spending money, mm -hmm. right? Whole different conversation. Hmm. So he was telling me about all his businesses and his companies. You pull up a picture of his son. And he said, everything that I'm doing, I'm doing it for my son. He's going to inherit the, 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 the. generational wealth. All the typical wealthy people talking points mm -hmm. is beautiful. And, 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 and I remember somebody once said this to me and I, and I think it was shout, I think it was Aunt Viv who said this shout out to Aunt Viv. Hmm. She says something to the point of, and I'm probably butchering this. So I'm gonna try to paraphrase it. She says something to the extent of we spent all of our time giving our children things we never had that we forget to give them the things that we did have that made us a person we are today. And whenever I, I, I hear people who didn't come from a lot. They're always like, I want to give my kids all that I didn't have. Mm -hmm. But in their brains, in my opinion, what a lot of people do wrong is they feel like the only thing they didn't have was money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But a lot of time, what you also didn't have, in my opinion, which is more important is time. Mm -hmm. You didn't have time with your parents because your parents were working three, four, five, seven jobs mm -hmm. to pay the bills. They weren't there to help you with your homework. They weren't there to, you know, console you when you had a rough day in school. They weren't there to tuck you in at night and tell you, I love you. You also lost time. Mm -hmm. And in today's society, I feel as though we're, we're so obsessed with money because yes, not having money is terrible. But when you get to a point where you have money, I think there's other intangible values that people can provide outside of their pocketbooks. To that point, bro, like I know people whose focus was money, 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 right? They got the money and they splurging and it's like there was this is there's no end point. When when do you stop? When is it enough? When do you have enough? Like you just chasing and chasing and chasing and chasing the money and your kids is like, Hello, what about us? Hello? Like, yeah, you giving us money, man, but where's the time at, bro? That's why like me, like I'm not I'm not chasing money right now. Like I'm sure money will come. I'm chasing freedom. 
I'm chasing the freedom to do what I want to do whenever I want to do it. I'm chasing the freedom that like, like he said, if the child is going through something, I can sit down with my child and work them through that, help them through that. My spouse going through something, I can help her through that, work her through that. I ain't got to be on the phone like, yeah, I'm gone. You know what I'm saying? What's, what's, what's happening? What went wrong? What? Who did what to you? Or I'm so busy, I got to wait until I'm done doing what I'm doing. Then I got to check my phone some hours later to try to talk to you and fly back or do this. Like, I ain't trying to be overly busy chasing no paper. Like, I want freedom. That's what I want, freedom. And time is freedom. Like I done said before, there's like a cap on happiness. Like, money can and can't buy you happiness. Like, you starving, you get some money, you can eat. That's happiness. But if you but if you got enough money to buy all the food in the world, like you're not ha you're not happier with all the food in the world. You still eat one meal at a time. So what what's the you know what I'm saying? There's a cap on happiness. And it's like chasing the money is should not be the goal. The money should not be the end goal. It should be time, resources, maybe power, the power to change your life, the power to change your kid's life. But the money shouldn't be the goal. The, the money is a tool. Use the money as a tool. Don't get so focused on the on the tool that you forget the actual mission. You know what I'm saying? And what I've noticed is that there's there's a big misconception amongst men with a man just providing a pocketbook mm -hmm. and men just providing dollars. Mm -hmm. My dad never provided dollars to me, but my but I grew up rich. I grew up knowing who I was. I grew up with confidence. I grew up with a mindset that got me to where I am today. Like I grew up freaking spoiled. Like, when I say I'm a spoiled, I wasn't spoiled with stuff. I was spoiled with time. And so I think sometimes what happens is that men are only valued for how much money they bring. That a lot of times the intangibles about like having time gets like neglected. And so what you're describing about like generational wealth, mm -hmm. I'm like, yo, He's driven, but his drive might be, you know what? I, I work at school and I come home and I'm helping my kids with their homework. Mm -hmm. I come home, I'm, I'm walking my kids through the Discovery Channel and, and BBC Network and showing them the world. And, and, I'm, and I'm committed to, you know, traveling. Like he may not have the money, but he might have all these other things. And so I think sometimes I'm, I'm just curious to, I love what Justine said, how it's a societal thing, but... I feel like men are just so highly valued upon money. Mm -hmm. And that's why a lot of women feel like men are irrelevant. Because when you make your own money, why do I need a guy anymore? Right, facts. And that's where I'm just always wondering, like, if if all your bills are being paid for by you and he's an amazing person, what is a, what is a hesitancy besides the psychological judgment of people who they're not going to live the life that you have to live? Yeah, I feel like there's two types of men. You're either going to get the one that you know, it doesn't really make that much money and it's going to stand bes beside you, you know, be that family man. Or you're going to have the man that has all the money that's going to cheat on you. And <laughs> hey, come on. Let's, let, let's be real. Wait, why let's be real. Cheating? Let's, said, be, let's real. be real. I thought you were going to say something completely different. You went no. straight to the cheating. Oh, Am I lying in today's society? I will buy you the Chanel bag and you don't question me about the girl from last night. Let's be serious. And females, <laughs> due to society reasons, are... Okay, I want that. I want that. You can <laughs> cheat on me because I want that Chanel bag. Because you making how much money? Mm. But when a female's making her own money, I don't want none of that. So, I think. So, <laughs> Go ahead. I'm no, about to save the Patreon. Let's yeah. save it. I want to hear what Tyler has to say. We'll say I was going to just yeah. respond to please, your please, statement. Please. I feel like a lot of the, like, like you said, like, okay, the man is going home. He's helping his children with homework. What if his kid want to play football? You have to have money for that. You have to have money to live. We got money. But you making the but, money? Ah, uh, there we go. Just <laughs> eat. Just eat. I feel like I just needed to just come over here. Like, just eat. <laughs> <bigger show. laughs> Remember what I said. Every, every, you're making $300,000. You don't need that much. You, you're, to you're, make you're, football. you're, you're, maybe, maybe you're living <laughs> in Highland Park. You good. Okay. You good. You're good. Every bill is taken care of. Okay. So, Continue. <laughs> so, so all of the response you're saying that all of the responsibility falls on me essentially. No, no, it's, no. So you 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 love what you do. Like you never work a day in your life because you love what yeah, you do every day, yeah, and it gives you money. But 
you have, let's say you own your own business. It's a multi-million dollar, at least let's say you Kylie Jenner, okay? Let's not say Kylie Jenner. Let's say Beyonce. Let's not say Kylie Jenner. And let's say Jay-Z was still in Brooklyn on the corner. Making well, damn, he was making a still. I was gonna say he was hustling though. No, so just 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 a Brooklyn a Brooklyn dude, uh, making dang because in New York it's like but making think, fifty thousand dollars. I think that's Is a that different gone? mindset though. It's a different mindset when you're going to work every day and then you just coming home rather than you. Get- Y'all can't even get to the scenario like. If the man has time and the man is pouring his time into the kids and to the family, could you not be would you not be happy with that? Are you unhappy with that? Just because he's only making what sixty thousand dollars, seventy thousand dollars, and you making three hundred. I don't know, to each their own, you know what I'm saying? If you value that that drive and you value a high earner, then that you you're not gonna have a lot of time. You're trading the money for time. They gotta be busy to get the money getting creative you finding all of these different ways i didn't say that though i i said he let's say as a when i was a teacher see Mm -hmm. this is my thing with with jobs Uh, this job i work now we both make a lot of money Mm -hmm. i do not work as hard as i work when i was a teacher not even close (laughs) when i was a teacher i was making fifty three thousand dollars a year you start the school day six hours a coach too. Seven o'clock in the morning. Mm-hmm. You got home seven o'clock at night, and you're and you're working nonstop. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I'd be watching a movie. <laughs> I mean, I'd be halfway through day watching a movie. There was none of that as being a teacher. Yeah. So this is one of those guys. Like I don't know how old you guys are. If you watch Boy Meets World, a Mr. Feeny type yeah. teacher. Mm-hmm. This is a guy who's Shout going. Mr. Feeny, this guy is going above and beyond as a Mr. teacher. Feeny but was he's a guy. not getting compensated for his work. Mm-hmm. So I'm describing a guy who's still working hard, mm-hmm. but he's working hard in the field where he doesn't have any money, doesn't make a lot of money. So do you still feel like that's still a no-go for you? It's a no-go. Honestly, yes. Okay. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Even if it's his she passion is it. investing in people. Like, he's investing in giving back to these She kids, want money. You know, getting their life right, teaching them character building, self-awareness. I think your ideologies change when you mm. go through things. I think so, too. You have to... If if you've never been in a situation where you are making more money than a ma- man, and and let's say he's bringing all these great qualities, you just love him, and he's making less, then then you start to change your your mindset. Okay, society is definitely lying to me. <laughs> Screw Instagram. Yeah. I love him, even his twenty thousand dollars. <laughs> Cause what if something happened to me? What if I can't work? So now we only depending on your income. Yeah, you know. It- all this is great stuff, and I'm and I'm not. <laughs> I'm asking all these good questions because. So so, that's a possibility with anybody. So she so you you are relying. So you feel like if y'all ain't making similar kind of money, then y'all set up for failure or something. Because something can happen to anybody, even if you're the breadwinner, he the breadwinner. Some somebody can fall ill and can't work like on either side. You just adjust. So you saying if he ain't making similar money and something happened to you where you can't work, now you feel like you got to downsize your life because you you depending on his income. I don't know. A lot of folks live above their means though. So who knows, cousin? And all this is great stuff, and I'm and I'm not. <laughs> I'm asking all these good questions because to me, as as a man. I have no problem respecting my wife. Mm-hmm. And I have no, if something happens to me, what happens to our stuff? Mm-hmm. It's over. But I'm going to, like, like, this is my purpose. I will always work. Mm-hmm. So just by living, we're going to, by me, unless I'm dead, yeah. and you have my life insurance policy. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. unless I'm dead, like, my working doesn't stop. And because we're a one, what's mine is yours. And I feel no insecurity about it. Go ahead question yes. from the male side okay mm-hmm. so you making all this money yeah and your girl's eyelash business just can't get going yeah you still supporting her of course yeah she's well, my, yeah it's like yes <laughs> you got it, to, to me to i guess to us that's a no-brainer okay it's like if you have a passion or you have something that you're interested you want to start in mm-hmm. and we're supposed to be in this together mm-hmm. why not help you out are I think, you giving at a time limit though 
No. You, what do you mean? <laughs> time that so what if it never takes off? So I think y'all responses go off of experience because you do have males out here that's like, hell no. She ain't a self-starter. Her her business is not popping right now. I don't want her. She's not a hustler. That's funny that they were like surprised by the flip side. Like a man, we don't really care about the woman having money. Like if you got a passion, you got a you got something that you want to do, we're gonna try to help you do it. And if it's not working right now, hey, keep trying. Or switch lanes. But we're gonna support you through it. Versus a man. If a man got a dream or ambitions and it, it ain't it ain't working out, like a woman ain't gonna stay around that long for real, for real. Most women, a lot of I ain't gonna say most a lot of women ain't gonna stay around that long, man. Like they like, man, I'm trying to eat, man. You ain't getting you ain't getting it. You ain't getting it done. Cause over here got the bag. He got it flowing and he flirting with me. I'm finna go over there. Cause they want a provider, bro. They want a provider or a protector. You ain't providing. Like, what are we doing? And then society, like she said, social media have people feeling so many different ways, man. You look at these folks' life and how they living, and you look at yours and disgust. It be women online. Um, I seen Lil Dirk like booked out the mall for India to go shopping, and like it was just them in the store. And then a girl commented like, "Oh, I, I hate my nigga," you know what I'm saying? And a lot of women were up under their co-signing. Like even if they like being sarcastic or they being jokey, like it's still like man, that stuff still be seeping into folks' relationships. Like what you think you should be doing and what other folks are doing. I don't know, man. A woman making three hundred thousand dollars a year, and she want her man to make more than that. You are, you are weaning. You are cutting off a whole lot of male prospects. A whole lot. It's gonna be slim pickings up there for you. Slim pickings up there. But anyway, man, let me know how you feel about this in the comments below, man. Um, the video was titled "The Obsession with the Six Figure Men." Um, they kind of like. They kind of really was talking about a six-figure woman a lot of the time. But were you surprised by their opinions? Were you surprised that that a woman making six figures wouldn't want a man that's not? I wasn't surprised by that. I don't care if a woman is making 20000 She don't want that man that's making fifteen. Then she starts talking about, oh, the child want to play sports. That costs money. How much How much you think playing football costs, bro? How much, <laughs> how much you think that costs? Playing sports is more about time than, than than money. Like you just need the time to be able to pick them up, drop them off, be at the game, support them. You know what I'm saying? That's more important than you getting them the best football gear. Like I don't know. I think um all this dialogue is is good for the culture, but it's to kind of find a solution here or or have realistic expectations while dating. Cause most people are trying to find them a partner a spouse you know what i'm saying a wife husband to uh do this life thing with and i think these conversations kind of help people it, it opens some people's eyes and and makes them think more realistically and maybe like bring their expectations down so they can actually find somebody instead of always dreaming about the perfect man or the perfect this like maybe like start being real like more like strategic with your choices like being really like instead of like dating randomly like dating with a purpose and dating with like real expectations and a real plan you know what i mean but anyway man you know as always you know what i'm saying clothes for sale in the description the gear that i use to make these videos link down in the description uh sub to your man so we're trying to hit 10k by the end of the summer but 3k we're trying to hit 3k right now though you know what i'm saying so if you ain't sub let me give you a little second to sub right quick hold on Appreciate you. At 10K subs, man. We 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 gonna get there. We gonna get there. But yeah, man, appreciate that love, man. And I'll see y'all in our next one.